Hi guys, this is Daniel here. Um, today I'm just going to make a quick video about how you connect a hard drive externally um, through using a USB cable or you know, sort of hard drive adapter. Um, so a bit of background information. Um, recently I upgraded my Veo laptop's hard drive from a 640GB Western Digital Scorpio to a 250 gig Samsung Evo SSD. Um, obviously, of obvious speed increases, it's worth it sort of thing. Um, and this is this isn't a very fast drive, and it's, it needed replacing. So on this drive, um, you got your power and data. This is a SATA drive, but this method does work with IDE drives, but it depends what adapter you buy. Um, but in this case, we're just going to do the the demonstration on SATA. Um, so what I used is this thing. Basically, basically, it's a USB free to SATA um, adapter. You can get them from Amazon and other places. I'll show you a few on Amazon in a minute. This one's got two USB um, connectors on the end of it. Uh, the blue one is high speed USB free although you can use it obviously it's backwards compatible but the faster the USB port the better in this case and the second one is power um, some of these you buy you you can you plug like a Molex connector in the side or you plug a 12 volt DC adapter or 9 volt I haven't had them so I don't know precisely what voltage but I'm guessing it's 12 so this is what we've got here so you can see they're like they, they're keyed. The, the connectors are keyed, like the sat on the SATA. So you can't really get it wrong. Uh, where are we? So I'm trying to look here. While I'm doing a video, and they just go literally just plug in like that. Simple as that. And then you've got your USB on the end. So out, in, and obviously if you've got it hooked up, you don't want to be moving it too much. Right now. I will try and do this with one hand. So, oops, got my finger on the screen there. So, also I put the drive up here. This is what you would do if you was to get it um, by similar sort of thing. So, one of them goes inside. Uh, get it right way, it might help. Uh, there we go. And the data goes onto the one next to it. Okay, Windows has picked that up, and the, if I fill the drive, it's it's on and work. Oh, hang on a minute, is it in properly? Should be. Yeah, there we go. I can actually feel that vibrating. So yeah, you'd leave it like that. Um, and Windows has picked the drive up. It's a obviously it's a 640, but it's picked it up as 578. And you can create new folders on it and blah blah blah. It's just like having the drive on the computer. Um, and if we unplug it, it disappears. So that's that. And then, so if you if you are so so this this the Samsung SSD drive that I bought, um, that that had a utility with it. I didn't have a few people said it wasn't that good, but I found it absolutely fine. So, and basically, I had my SSD plug inside of the laptop, and I left this old drive inside, obviously. And I just transferred the data. It took about an hour or so. Didn't have a lot of data on the computer. It took about an hour. Swap. Then I then swapped the SSD into the laptop, and it worked absolutely fine. Really impressed with it. So, if you are looking to buy one of these sorts of things, there are a few versions available. It depends on what you require. Uh, this particular one here is ID or SATA. But it probably is, to be honest, in the long run better to buy something that does a few more things than just your regular SATA. You never know what you're going to need in life. Um, that's a simple one. And then that's the one I got. I think that's the one I bought there. Um, seven quid. It might have been a little bit less or more. And then there's that one. Yeah, it's interesting that this has the power two USBs, whereas that one doesn't. I guess it must 
maybe it's a better one it probably is and then there's that type there which is even better and it's got so yeah so if you're looking to transfer data even if even if it's an ssd to change into an ssd you could use this method or if you just want to back some stuff up quickly off a drive as it's dying or whatever yeah just give that a go that's just quite a good way of doing it there are other options we haven't obviously covered um eSATA and stuff like that but this is the simplest option for most people. Thanks very much. I hope it helps somebody.